You get out of art school and you're broke, and then you have a bunch of really ridiculous jobs. Definitely a winding path, but I first started making stationery, and then I thought just sharing that process might be interesting for people. I guess I'm just always creating, it's really kind of a compulsion. I really enjoy the problem solving of trying to figure out exactly how to take something from my own brain into physical being. <laughs> I think one thing that's really exciting about printmaking is that you can do it with anything and a lot of the things you probably already have in your house. It's so versatile and accessible. I think if things are more accessible and aren't too expensive, you're really willing to play with them more often. And it's the play that's the point. Creating stamps, I think I get really excited about making small representations of things. I can't own a horse in San Francisco, but I can make a tiny little horse stamp. I'll make like one tiny design, and even just repeating that one motif creates a whole different design. So even if you've carved the stamp, there are so many possibilities. I think it's important that you embrace your mistakes as much as you embrace, you know, the thing you've labored on and were very diligent about, because I think you learn more from your mistakes than you do from the thing that turns out perfectly. And that can be a lot more fun. I think just a good time is more important than anything. I think people are embracing old-fashioned modes of communication. Emails are pretty impersonal, and there's nothing like getting mail. You just feel so special. And I think that's something that only something handmade can get you. And it's really the imperfection of that that I really enjoy. Robots make perfect things and that's totally boring. People are used to creating things when they're little and then once they grow up they think there's no room for that in their lives. They can have a creative outlet and it's good to do something kind of out of your regular life. And it's so satisfying. There's nothing like, you know, kind of marveling at, at something you've created or give it, no, the best is really just giving what you've made to somebody else and watching their faces. It's just the best feeling.